Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to replace your crankshaft position sensor in a W210, uh, 220 Mercedes Benz. It's really very easy. Uh, driver side engine compartment. Um, it's kind of hard to see. You might need your cell phone to and a and a light to uh, see where it is. Uh, and I highly rec recommend that you do that. Finding it is the hardest uh, part of this job. And second is to get uh, a composition of extension sockets to get to it to remove the bolt. Uh, that black, that thin black electrical line is what leads to it. And here I'm showing it to you. It's right in front of the transmission. Uh, you just press that and remove the electrical connector the e8 socket uh, bolt um, you need a you need a female torque socket to remove that the torque value is 10 newton meters uh, it's just one bolt uh, and you kind of have to do it by feel you need somebody with a smaller hand to do this job And, um, you know, the Harbor Freight uh, extension set, socket extension set, is perfect for this job if you can get one. Uh, I found best that if you take the longer piece and connect it to the two shorter pieces with a universal joint or a swivel socket, that works best. But you can try other compositions to see which works best for you. And so every 70,000 miles or 15 years, whichever comes first, you want to do this. Uh, the symptoms are, um, as you noticed in the beginning of the video, the starter turns, but it cannot turn the engine on. So it could be confusing with um, a problem with your uh, fuel system, uh, fuel pump, for example. But uh, more likely than not, uh, it is this, and it does throw a code too. You might see your check engine light. If um, if you can get the code, um, you'll find out um, whether or not it is the crankshaft position position sensor. It's only a twenty-six dollar item, uh, often neglected as a maintenance item. So it's best that you do this um, every seventy thousand miles on on these and the the S classes. Um, those years, um, early 2000s, uh, late 90s. If this does happen to you, don't panic. Um, stop, stop cranking. Wait a few minutes and try it again. Most likely, it will start and get you to a safe place uh, where you can order the part and uh, do the replacement. I hope you liked the video. Um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.